A Finnish trumpet player Jukka Eskola is a fourth time at the Moho Future Music Festival UYAP. And uh, we are very happy to have you here always because you are just a very good <laughs> jazz musician. So you have a new trio now called the Yuka Escola Soul Trio. Uh, why you why you established a, a new trio? Well, I I think the main reason, well, not the main reason, but uh, one good reason is that my previous band was uh, called Orquesta Bossa, which had uh, we played some uh, original bossa nova music, and this band was like a combined jazz quintet and a string quartet. So we I had a nine-piece band touring with me and uh, it's, you know it's great to have a big sound with a big group and but also it brings some challenges to <laughs> you know sell gigs and and travel around with a big group and and we even did this uh, with this bossa thing we even made the arrangement for a symphony orchestra so i've been doing a lot of symphony orchestra gigs with this repertoire so it's like the biggest possible you can do and you know after that I didn't get tired of it, never will get tired of it, but I kind of wanted to have a very compact band. And I've always loved the sound of organ, so I figured it would be very nice and very like, because uh, I like, you know, swinging and soulful jazz, so it would be the, the best possible combination to have an organ trio. So just drums, organ and trumpet, and try something with that, make some original music and play some nice, you know, forgotten jazz standards. So. That's the reason, and you know, of course, it's easier to travel with only three guys. Even though the organ is big and it's terrible to carry it around, but still, yeah. Why you started to Why you started to play the music? Your very first moment from your maybe childhood or later? Can you remember that? Why Why you started? You find out that I probably need to start play some instrument. Well, I think it's. Uh, I started when I was nine years old. I started with the trumpet, and I think it was just by a coincidence because I went to this music class in Finland, and, and it was a very brass-oriented school, and everybody chose an instrument there. And my bigger brother already went there, and he played the saxophone. So naturally, I couldn't pick up the saxophone. So somehow the trumpet just came to me when I was nine years old in the school, and then we had these, you know, school bands like brass bands, and, and every every week we rehearsed with with each other so it's a really social thing for me at first and uh, somehow the trumpet felt easy for me so I never basically played any other instrument it's always the trumpet which is a difficult challenge because you have to practice every day and you know but it's kind of fit my lips in a way from the beginning so uh, I stayed with the trumpet and of course it's not the coolest thing to play trumpet when you're a teenager <laughs> but uh, I, I stick, stick with it and, and discovered I played the classical first like almost all brass players do, but then I discovered like uh, big band music, and we had some big bands in my hometown, and you know I discovered there, there's something else than classical music, and I, I immediately started to practice jazz, and I think we had an album, one of the first jazz albums I had was uh, from my big brother, he had Clifford Brown, Clifford Brown's album, and that made a huge impact on me. So you know I, I realized that this is something else, you know, these people are improvising as. Of course, at first I didn't understand anything about it, but you know, after times went by, and I, I, after school, I did have some plans. Maybe you know, want to do something else, but you know, of course, music is so big, big thing in my life. So then I realized that this is the only thing I want to do, and I'm happy I chose this bad because, you know, for me, I've been very lucky to play with all kinds of musicians all around the world, and and uh, still get the kick out of out of playing and not only jazz but also other kinds of music so I'm like trying to be open-minded but of course this small band jazz music is, is my favorite thing still uh, our festival has in YouTube many many clips uh, during 20 years made um, video clips and so to say Yuka Eskola band at UEA festival a few years ago with mm. gathering together the most views actually okay. <laughs> it's one of, one of the top <laughs> so how you what do you think how you're gonna describe why in your playing is uh, something else just to be
kind of like my like time feel. So like, I love to just swing, just play that. That's very simple things, and I think that might be my strength, the, the time feel, and and just getting it together. So maybe that's one of the reasons. But also for the audience that doesn't really you know listen to jazz that much, maybe it's just the music I make. It's not it's too hard to listen. It's it's about swinging and it's about some soulful thoughts. So maybe those are the simple reasons. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.